Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Just in, Susan Rice's $50 million secret just revealed from Obama and it's a huge problem. At the end of 2017, former National Security Advisor Susan Rice, that served under President Obama became embroiled in controversy. Rice made headlines in the international news outlets for her intentional unmasking of several officials within the campaign of Donald Trump. But what she also made headlines over was for her salary. Rice has a net worth of approximately $50 million yet was only making $172,000 a year. The Washington Post previously reported on it and alleged that the millions of dollars in net worth came from various inheritances as well as personal investments for Rice and her husband. However, as of five years ago those inheritances equaled $20 million. Meaning that there is an additional $30 million that is unaccounted for that she made during her time in the White House. During her service, she spent a large part of her time in the administration opposing oil. In 2012, NPR wrote that Rice owned stock in TransCanada, which was the company responsible for the Keystone XL project that the administration opposed. This means that while the president was deciding whether to oppose it or support it Rice had a vested financial interest in it. CDP reported. According to the NPR article, she owns stock valued at somewhere between $300,000 and $600,000 in TransCanada. Furthermore, they state, about a third of Rice's personal net worth is tied up in oil producers, pipeline operators, and related energy industries north of the 49th parallel, including companies with poor environmental and safety records on both U.S. and Canadian soil. Remember how the Obama administration was pushing for clean energy? Apparently, that means only to United States citizens, and not the people that are supposed to govern them. The Post does try to say that there is nothing shady about Rice's dealings with the oil industry. They say that the connections go back 20 years when she was working somewhere else. However, the stunning hypocrisy is real among Democratic voters, who are clamoring about climate change, yet never mention a word about what Rice was involved in. It also represents a huge conflict of interest. Rice's wealth has essentially doubled since 2012. How many other things was she investing in while being an advisor to the Obama administration? It's easy to think that her wealth had increased due to the fact she was advising Obama on certain issues. It was clear that Rice was set to be somewhat of a human shield for Obama's failures, starting with the Benghazi incident. Those eventually rose until the unmasking scandal came to light. It was so bad that Judge Andrew Napolitano, often dubbed America's judge, was calling for Rice to be arrested and jailed. Rice was also brought up during the Syrian strike that President Trump did back in April. The strike was about the gassing that had been going on. That brought up a conflicting narrative, as Rice stated in January that claimed the gas had been removed from Syria. The conflicting reports left two solutions, and neither proved well for Rice. A life in the public sector pays very well, but it doesn't make people extremely wealthy. Rice's net worth has to be called into question, especially if Trump wants to continue to drain the swamp of the people that are there. Her career was filled with scandals, but this is just adding more fuel to the fire. The American government is not a playpen for the rich and wealthy. It is not an opportunity to become rich and make money. As many have said before if you leave public service richer than you were before then you are not doing it correctly. Because that is not meant to be the purpose of public service it is meant to be service for the betterment of the American people. Anyone who takes advantage of that should be ashamed of themselves because there is no honor as taking advantage of the American people. This is symbolic of what the Obama administration represents. Corruption, conflicts of interest, and power struggles. While the Democratic Party has pointed the fingers at Republicans for their tax cuts for the rich and for selling out to corporate interests in reality, they are no better and are exactly the same. The only difference is that they pretend to be different in the media and in front of everybody else. Because the truth is is that they socialize with Hollywood predators like Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby while preaching equality and justice and there is no honor in any of that. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.